All right, what's going on? I'm back. I'm not working on the physical Mustang today. I'm actually going to take a break from that. It's dark out. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple of days. I'll put those videos together and get them out. But um, tonight, since it's dark, I went out to the store today and I got some tools. Um, I got a few things in the mail, too, that I'm going to show you probably a little bit later. But as of right now, um, I am going to get go ahead and get to work on the aluminum dash. Um, so I know that there's instructions for it. Um, I, I know it came with them and I cannot find them for the life of me. So um, I'm just gonna kind of first just kind of piece it together and see how it looks. And then I'll probably go online and see what it, um, how it's actually supposed to be set up. Um, so these are all the like kind of like the brackets that hold it together, um, keep it rigid. And I know that some people like to throw a little bit more um, kind of like L brackets uh, on some of the pieces. So I'm kind of curious to see where um, where that might be needed, but it did come with these. I believe these are the mounting tabs. Um, and then it came with some, looks like Velcro. Um, and then here's some rivets. So the rivets are gonna be to hold these uh, pieces on and I'll kind of um, go through it, I guess, while I'm doing it and I guess just kind of do it how I think. Um, I did go to the store today and I bought some stuff, actually some goodies. I, I went to Harbor Freight and Home Depot. Um, first thing, uh, at work I do a lot of wiring and we use really good wire strippers at work. Um, I've been using just the regular like um, plier style and I'm really getting tired of it. After using the nice stuff at work, I kind of want to just, um, I, I kind of just gave in. This is only like six bucks at Harbor Freight. And I'm curious to see. It says self-adjusting, so um, I'll be able to do that once I uh, once I do, should start doing some more wiring. But um, one thing that I did have to get today, some more, some more lift tape, um, is I have one of these in my storage somewhere. Um, unfortunately, I lost the keys to my freaking toolbox, uh, my actual roller um, like uh, tool cart. So. I couldn't get it out and this was the, I mean these are only like six bucks to you so I actually got a discount on it so I'm just gonna I just bought another one and because um, I couldn't find my couldn't find my original one so and I'm pretty sure it's in that toolbox and I can't get it out so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna rivet this together um, I got that and then um, I did also get oh, here's another roll of um, I went to Home Depot because uh, Harbor Freight didn't have the right sizes I needed, so I actually got a two-inch hole saw. I got a shoot, two and five-eighths inch hole saw, and I also got a two or three and a quarter. Um, and you will see what those are for soon. Um, you could probably put the pieces together, but anyways. Um, so I'm going to get started on this. Um, maybe I'll film some of it, but I want to listen to music. Again, my GoPro's not turning on, so i got to figure out what's going on there. It's probably the battery. It's just shot. Um, and, yeah, I'm just going to get started on this, and then I'll update as I go. Well, I've been putting in work. I can tell you that. Um... I mean, the last time you guys saw this thing, it was in like two, three, four, five different pieces. And um, I, I, I couldn't stop. I'm going to be, you know, there's a little thing on the camera there. Um, I couldn't stop. And uh, I really, really just like as soon as I started going, I just kept going and going. And um, I actually went ahead and drilled the holes. Um, I put everything together, riveted everything. Um, there was a little bracket that it came with that I wasn't too sure on where it went. Um, so I just went ahead and I, I made it a little bit more rigid between the two big pieces. And I put that right there um, in between the two to make it a little bit more. And then I may go back later and do a couple more rivets. But um, as of right now, the dash is fully assembled. Um, and I, I did. I couldn't help myself, but I had to go test fit it in the car. It's dark out. Um, I actually had to drop the steering column to get it to fit in there. But it does fit, and I'm, I mean, it's something I'm, I'm going to have to do during the day. But I drilled the holes for the gauges. 
and uh, I actually went ahead and threw some of the gauges in there just to kind of mock it up, see how it's going to look. And uh, this is the end result. I am missing one gauge, the one gauge that I got. It's actually a mechanical oil pressure gauge, and I didn't want a mechanical um, oil pressure gauge. Also, it's the wrong size. It's actually a little bit bigger. Um, I wanted them to all be the 2 and 1 16th inch um, size for the small ones, and then the, the 3 and 3 eighths, I think, for the big ones. Um, so I'm probably going to have to return that, send that back, and try and get a... Um, an electronic gauge for that instead because the factory one runs off an electronic sensor instead of a pressure sensor it's, I don't like the whole tube thing going into the chassis it's just it's just sketchy to me plus you know later down the road if I do if I end up doing a motor swap I'm gonna have to get another gauge for it um, I'm already gonna have to get a another um, um, speedo gauge because this one is cable driven um, and I'm gonna have to actually get an adapter for it but um, anyways I'm talking too much Check it out. So, this is what I was talking about right here. Um, this little L bracket, it came with it. It's actually matte, it's not a gloss finish like the uh, the rest of it. So I wasn't too sure what it was for. Um, I, I just went ahead and used my best judgment and put it there. I mean, it does. it looks fine, I'm not worried about it. It is kind of weird because the, the way that it goes, it doesn't go straight flat. It actually goes and then kind of curves down. So it's kind of at like a, um, at like an A-frame type, uh, type shape. But overall, I mean, if it's good, I don't think I'm gonna have any problems mounting it. I mean, it's it's for a Fox body, but in reality, it's, it is it is kind of like a do-it-yourself installation. Um, you know, you're gonna have to do a little bit of fabrication, a little bit of hole drilling. Um, I'm assuming that's why they give you these little L brackets. Um, that's just the only thing that I can think of. Um, so I'm going to have to, you know, figure that out as I go. But I think it looks freaking sweet. Um, one of the reasons that I went to, to the car to mock it up um, was because I wanted to find center where the steering wheel sits. Put a little, um, a little uh, scratch uh, in there to show, like, where center is of the steering wheel. Um... So I could probably properly, um, well, properly, um, you know, spread out the gauges how they're, how they're supposed to. And I think I did okay. My theory is I do have that uh, painless performance switch panel, and it's kind of big, and I, I wanted to put it here. Um, but I think it's a little too long to put it there, so I'm going to have to figure it out. I might have to um, make, like, a little bracket that comes down underneath it um, or put it over here. I, I don't know how I feel about getting into this round because that's a little bit out of reach uh, when you're sitting in the driver's seat but I could be wrong and I won't really know until I actually get it in there and sit down in the seat um, so I may do that tomorrow but I do still have all the other stuff in the uh, in the engine bay to um, to complete first so like the uh, the cap and rotor and the uh, the plug wires that's going to take me a little bit of time but um, yeah this is it I mean I think it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm glad, I'm kind of glad that I got the wrong gauge because I was originally just going to go ahead and throw this thing in there. Um, you can see how it's a little bit bigger than the uh, the other small gauges. That's actually a lot bigger. Um, and I did get a, um, a hole saw bit for it because I was just gonna make it work. But considering it's a, um, um, considering it's a mechanical gauge, I'm just not gonna do that, so. Um, anyways, that's kind of where I'm at with this thing. I mean, I dashes together. I mean, this is kind of like one of those big ticket pieces that I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the gauges. Um, unfortunately, I have this. I have to wait a little bit longer, but I can kind of get it in there and see. And I, I'm really excited about it. I'm I'm super super stoked about this. Um, I think it's gonna come out sick. So um, that's all I got for now. Um, I'm really, really excited for this. I, I mean, I, I may be like, you know, resting bee face kind of thing, but I mean, after all the work that I put into this thing, um, you know, this is nice because this is something that I can do in the garage on a table. Everything else that I've done has been, you know, out in the freaking dirt. And I hope that one day I'll be able to, you know, afford a shop or something like that, that I can do, you know, more legit, um, you know, fabrication. I mean, that's kind of what I miss doing is fabrication. It's, 
it's one of my, I mean, I went to school for it. I really would like to use it. And I just, you know, this is not my garage. So I don't want to, you know, mess it up too much. I actually just got finished vacuuming the floor because there was stuff. You can kind of see there's stuff all over here still. I got to brush it off. Actually, you know what? Okay, I got the compressor. <laughs> Looks a little better. Um, mind you, there is still a film on this, so this isn't the final, like, what it's gonna look um, like. You can kind of see some of it was coming off when I was working, and I peeled some of it back when I was doing the rivets, so. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, this is gonna be super sick. Gotta get that thumbnail. But yeah, anyways. Um, and to those of you who watch, I appreciate you guys watching. And um, hopefully we can get some more people and I can get some more ideas on what I could do. Um, I have a lot of plans for this car. Um, and I am in the process of figuring out how to order the, um, they call it the Wise Fox kit. It's like a spinoff of the Wise Fab kit because I don't think they make one for the Vox body because it's kind of an older, more American um, chassis. But... Um, there is a company, I, think, I can't remember his name, I think it's Steve Mass or something like that. I, I follow them on the Facebook pages, but they do um, uh, like modified knuckles and, and um, angle kits and stuff like that for, uh, for these cars. So um, the only thing that sucks is they require most of the time a core, and um, usually they're using SN95 knuckles, and I don't have SN95 knuckles. Um, that's the next generation after the Fox body, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna order that, if I can just order it without the core, just spend a little bit extra money or or what, but I'm I'm kinda soaked, I'm getting closer and closer. Um, I wanna get some coilovers for it. Um, I know that this is new to, the whole suspension on this car, I mean, it's like a four, four shock rear um, suspension setup. I've never dealt with this before, never dealt with solid axle, it's always been independent rear. I've debated going the uh, independent rear from the Cobra um, because it is kind of just a bolt up. It's just a little bit of fabrication, barely, um, but most of it pretty much just bolts up. And, um, or just keeping the solid, I mean, I, I've seen people drift with the solid axle and have no issue. Um, just axle wrap is kind of uh, one of those things you gotta watch out for. And um, there's ways to get around all that. But anyways, um, yeah, as of right now, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, I, I really wanna get some seat time with this car. And, uh, you know, I pretty much, I just want to blow the, blow the motor and pull it out and put something sick in it. That's really what my goal is. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, it's a four day weekend for me, so I'm going to try and get as much work done on this car as possible while I have this time, um, and try and spend some time with the family. So, um, until next time, I'll see you later.